Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here talking the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The Lisa and Kathy feud continues. We are in round three and today we're also getting our live, or not live, I'm sorry, our third part of the reunion of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And if you are expecting an explosive uh, third part, you're not getting it. <laughs> Unless if you thought the trailer was explosive, you're probably going to be disappointed. Lots and lots of rumors coming out. The production, well, they're cutting some important things out. So before we get, oh, also I'm giving you guys amazing tea on Lisa and Harry Hamlin. Okay, guys, I got some good tea about Harry and Canada, and it's not the same old, same old. So make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on. It's super important. I'm going to be doing some different things, having some different interviews. Sorry, guys, my light. Uh, different interviews with different folks I thought think you guys might appreciate. So make sure that you are hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning your notifications on. Okay, guys, let's break some of this down. First of all, let me let me just brush over this whole uh, Lisa Rana issue. <sighs> Yesterday, she posted allegedly she posted on her story a photo of her with a firearm. Um, and like a little note to Patrick. People were on both sides were alleging they 100% saw this on Lisa Renna's story. Other people saying they did not see it on her story. Um, but she posted it like a year ago, allegedly, because it was her on um, her soap opera Days of Our Lives. OK, anyways, so we see that that comes out um, and Patrick Summer allegedly Guys, it's not a legend. I'm going to read you what he just tweeted because this is so crazy. First of all, I also want to tell you guys back on 1016, um, Kathy retweeted a podcast or a YouTube from a woman named Carrie Washington. And um, it basically was titled that Lisa Renna was trying to um, find a hitman to take Patrick and... Lisa or Patrick and Kathy out of the equation. Okay. Um, people, some people believed it, some people didn't. And I came in, coming across this article felt very strange that um Kathy would like post this and then ten days later this photo comes out um of this photo of her holding a firearm. Why would you do that? Unless if you were making fun of the original post that was reposted from Kathy on the 16th saying Lisa wanted to hire a hitman, okay? Allegedly. Um, he just, oh no, that's old. I'm sorry. I want to find his actual um, post that he made. I want to read it to you guys for sure. Oh, that's not the same one. Anyways, he basically says it's been confirmed in a message with Kathy that um, a thousand percent for sure Lisa Renna definitely tried, tried to hire a hitman, okay? Now, I read it to you guys. It looks like he's taken it off his story. Um, he's taken it down. Yep, he has. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it. Anyways, he's sent... Um, messages that allegedly he took a really like crappy screenshot of uh the proof that lisa had been trying to hire a hitman um on them but again it kind of seems a little bit late considering the fact that kathy tweeted that back on october 16th so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense now whatever that mess is i don't know if i believe lisa's out here trying to hire a hitman on fucking kathy sorry on kathy Helen. okay Anyways, um, let's get into the tea about Harry Hamlin. So Harry Hamlin lives in Canada, and I happen to correspond with someone that lives in Canada, and they know a little bit about Harry because he actually lives on a private island that has been in his family for five generations. That's a long time. Five generations, this island has been passed through Harry Hamlin's family, Okay. Now, first of all, I want to explain something to you guys, because if you're not a realtor or you didn't, you know, have property or whatever, you wouldn't know this. I wouldn't know this except for the fact that I like went through 
a, a situation with property. If you own property, say you have 50 acres, say you have 100 acres, you want to break 50 acres off and sell it, you can't afford the taxes, whatever the case may be. You are going to try to, if you're trying to make as much money as possible, you're going to plot up those 50 acres and make 25 two acre plots and sell them because it would make you more money than selling the 50 acres in bulk. But if you were still had your other 50 acres and you were going to be living next to whomever you sold the 50 acre plot to or the 25 people you sold the two acre lot to, who do you guys want to live by? You want to live by one person or do you want to live by 25 people and their dogs and their spouses and their kids? No. On a private island? No. No. You're not going to want to do that. Well, apparently Lisa and Harry have been breaking up plots of land on this private island, which is in a richy, richy area in Canada, and they've been selling them. And this makes sense to me, guys. I've told you before, Lisa and Harry have three mortgages out on their house in Beverly Hills. Now, rich people sometimes do different things different. You could get a line of credit with low interest, take that money, invest it somewhere else. Whatever the case may be, though, Harry and Lisa are in a season of their life that they should own their home. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on with their finances, but I think we're going to see it crumble after she's not re-signed on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, I think she's been using the money to keep a, f a facade of her life because she has to keep, she had to keep her Beverly Hills paycheck just to keep afloat. We know that they, people are like, where did all their money go? I'm like, you know what, guys? They've been bankrupt since like 1999, no, I'm joking, like 2005 maybe, um, when they had that store and it went bankrupt. Then they decided they were going to do um, a reality show. There's a clip of Harry and Lisa on Good Morning America. The phone rings. Harry answers it. And he's like, we're getting, our store is getting robbed right now. And so he's like on this flip phone talking. And Lisa's like, see you guys, and this is why you have to watch the show because this is just our real life. And things like this happen to us all the time. I don't think so. <laughs> They said that their store was buckling. It was going under, okay? And it was in the valley. Whatever. I think they've been bankrupt since then, okay? Then eventually Lisa got the Depends. That was a million-dollar deal, allegedly. Um, she gets the QVC. She starts working on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And about the year 2020, when she started her lip kit, is about the year they started plotting off this land and starting to sell it. So it makes sense to me that they were, Lisa was starting up another hustle because they were broke. They were running low on money. And this corroborate even more so I think Erica giving Lisa money to invest in the lip kit company because she had cash she had to get rid of it you know everything was about to explode with Tom and all of these victims that weren't paid and I think that she gave Lisa a hefty sum of cash for part of the company uh profit I don't know something and I think that's what's always kept Erica and Lisa tight. It hasn't been friendship. It hasn't been love for each other. It hasn't been ride or die. It's been, I gave her $5 million. <laughs> and I, I need to see my return first, okay? And Lisa probably thinking like, oh, she gave me $5 million. Like, I'm going to have to pay her back if we fall out. So if I'm nice to her, it'll be easier on me. And that's just my opinion towards the end of what I think happened between Lisa and Erica, and it's all alleged, of course. Um, I did drop this in a live today earlier this morning, guys. That's why it's super important that you always have those notifications on. Um, I want to go on and watch uh, DJ Ricky Sky. He had on uh, Dr. Heavenly, and she was talking about the trailer and Contessa running in, and it was just wild. So, um, you guys, if you're looking for a laugh, you should check that out. And then, of course, yesterday in my video I talked a little bit about Kim Zolciak and uh still looks like the house is bankrupt <laughs> nothing changed there uh we're gonna get a new episode of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City uh we're gonna see Whitney and Heather really it's sad their friendship's about to just go down the drain because you can tell that Whitney's very hurt and she feels like Heather weaponized like what she was going through and Whitney feels like she's been an excellent friend to Heather and she's always listened to her and usually Heather is the one that has all the issues and the problems um and so Whitney feels probably like she's not really important to 
um, Heather, she says that in her confessional. Anyways, we got like three or four minutes of it. Uh, but I wanted to know, guys, do you guys think that the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City have an advantage coming on after the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, even if it was only for the first, first four or five episodes? It gets people from Wednesday night that's used to the Beverly Hills. At least they have Salt Lake City, right? And then they gave Potomac Sunday night, which is always Real Housewives of Atlanta night. Um, and Potomac, I just feel like people aren't into it for some reasons. Like people either love it or hate it. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on Potomac and of course, Lisa Renna. Make sure you guys comment, hit that like button, subscribe and turn your notifications on and have a great day.